Hey guys, welcome to Revit exercise 12-1. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do bathroom layouts. Primarily, we're going to be looking at laying out toilets, bathtubs, and mirrors. So let's go ahead and get started. So under our project browser, we're going to go to our first floor plan. Once you have your first floor plan open, we're going to be looking at this particular area right here next to the garage. So when you zoom in, this is going to be where our half bath will go. So let's go ahead and start by placing our toilet. You're going to go under the architectural tab, build panel, and you're going to go under components. And under your components, you're going to select toilet domestic 3D. Select that. And once you place it in, before you place it in, you can use the space key to be able to switch around your toilet. So we're going to go ahead and place the toilet about one foot four inches away from the center. And in this case, we're just going to go ahead and place it. So once you select your toilet, you have these temporary dimensions that will snap. You want to be able to snap to the outside edge of the wall because you want to have a clear dimension. By code, you want to have a dimension that's one foot six, which is a minimum code requirement for the state of Texas. But in this case, the book has specified one foot four inches. Again, this is not to code. I'm going to go ahead and bring this number down to four inches. So we're right up against the wall. Again, I can select by face because I have this selection on. If you go under your modify key and you can turn your select element by face off because as you hover, once you have your toilet placed in the model, we're going to go ahead and place our vanity. You're going to go under the architectural tab, build panel, and go back under components. And this time we're going to be looking at a vanity cabinet. Now, one of the things that I want to point out is in Revit, by default, the cabinets are separated from the countertop. And this makes it a lot better for you when it comes to laying out kitchen, which we will do later on. But in this particular case, you would assume that the vanity is attached with a sink. But that is not the case here. We're going to go ahead and use the space tab to align this to the wall and place it here. Now, I like to go into our 3D model to see if we're actually facing in the right direction. Since we have a 24 inch by 24 inch cabinet because the depth is 24 inch as well as the width, there's no idea if it's facing the right way. So the best way to do it is go under view and you're going to go under elevation and you're going to select into your elevation and then you're going to make sure it's pointing against this wall. Once you have this interior elevation drawn, you can simply slide the elevation key itself back and using the triangle, you can step in to your interior elevation. As you can see, we are facing this vanity. We are looking at the back side of this vanity. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our first floor plan. I'm going to select the vanity and we're going to type in RO for rotate. Again, you can go under your modify tab and you can select the rotate here under the modify panel. You can select the object you want to rotate and select enter. And we're just simply going to 360 this to see if we're able to see the right side. Go back into your interior elevation. And now, are we looking at it directly? Let's go back. And go out here. Notice that our view line was here. So we can go ahead and now go into our view. And now we're definitely on the back side. So, also, something to keep in mind is where's your view being cut? I was cutting right through the middle of the cabinet. Therefore, I wasn't able to see it. So I can simply come back here and I can rotate the cabinet. And I'm using RO this time to go back. And I can use the align command, which I don't need to. And notice how my vanity is already here. So now that you're looking at the interior elevation, by the way, which is already drawn now, you can take this view by pulling it from your interior elevations and throwing it into your sheet. 
we can go back to our first floor plan. Let's go ahead and get our vanity sink. Again, the same regiment, architectural tab, bill panel, components. And under our vanity cabinets, we're going to go ahead and look for a vanity sink. So we have a vanity countertop with a round hole. I'm going to go ahead and drop that here. Use the space command to rotate your countertop. And let's place that there. Now go ahead and center the sink. There's multiple ways to do this. No right or wrong. Simply we'll make sure that this that the actual countertop start and ends here. And then we have a sink hole here. Again, if we were to go back to our interior elevation, now we're looking at our vanity top being placed on top of our vanity cabinet. Going back to our first floor plan, we're going to go ahead and now place in our sink. We're going to go ahead and go under the architectural tab, build panel, components. And again, this should become a very repetitive process of you looking. Once we find our vanity sink, we already have a sink vanity round, 19 inches by 19 inches. Now, if you want to get an under counter sink, those are available on websites. You can always download them. You will also have some available in the library. Again, I'm using the space bar to ro rotate my sink. And I'm just simply, at this point, eyeballing my sink and just placing it in here. Now, all these details should be caught per manufacturers and all of those. But I, once I go back into my interior elevation, Notice now I can see my sink, I can see my vanity top, I can see the vanity. Again, if you go to manufacturer website, you should be able to select out the sink hardware, the sink itself, as well as the vanity countertop, undermount, overmount. But this is just an overview of how you would go about bringing everything in. Next, we're going to go ahead and try to put a mirror in here right over the sink. So I want you to go back to the first floor plan and realize that if we try to put a mirror in the floor plan, it will most likely not be placed in the right place. So we have to go ahead and start that from our interior elevation. And again, we can place components the same way, architectural tab, build panel, and components. And what you will realize immediately is the sink is not located here. Since the sink is not located in one of our pre-selection, we can select load family and under furniture folder, you should be able to find mirrors and sinks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select mirror in this particular selection, mirror ellipse. Again, this can be modified, shapes can be modified. Um, we're going to go ahead and select open. Notice now that I have this sink, since I've selected it, that I have various different sizes. I could shrink it or make it bigger. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and maintain our current selection. Actually, I think it's quite big. Let's go to 18 inches by 36. And that's more favorable to the size of the vanity. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in and place it right here. Once you have your sink placed, does have a center. Let's see if we can align this to the center of the ellipse. So now all of this needs to be aligned to the center of the cabinet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in AL, start from the center of the cabinet, then take the center of the sink and place that here. Then I'm going to go ahead and select the same center of the cabinet and take the mirror and center that to the actual vanity. And notice how I'm able to do this very, very quickly. It's very, very intuitive. If I go to the first floor plan, you can see the mirror that's placed on the wall. Again, if we were to do this in the first floor plan, we would have an issue with where it is being placed on the wall. And if you look at your interior elevation, by selecting this view, it's starting to look quite nice. Now we can go ahead and change the scale to a half inch scale to shrink the words down 
for this dimension, or we can hide this category, hide this element, and go under VV, um, take this um, appearance, appearance of the gypsum board away, and all of that, and it'll be cleaned up. So let's go ahead and go under VV, or select the wall. We're going to select or select the element by face back on. And now I can select the wall itself. I can go under Edit Type, Edit the Structure. And I can simply go under the Gypsum Wall Board and select the interior finish to be represented with no foreground or background. I can just simply say None. And when I say that, I can go ahead and press Apply and press OK. And notice how this will take the representation of the gypsum board, wall board off, thereby having just a clean interior elevation. You can run, run your dimension string annotated the same way. Next, we're going to go ahead and go to our second floor. So in our second floor plan, as we're looking at this, this is where a tub goes. And this is another full bath. This is another full bath. And we're going to go ahead and populate all the restroom fixtures here accordingly. So as we're finishing up this drawing, I just want to show you that what we're looking at is a bathroom that is completely laid out. You have an entry to it. And at the same time, you're able to see that how it is completely laid out. So you have a sink that is laid out same way. I would always use this procedure where you lay out the cabinets first. This is the door jam that's getting in the way right here or the door trim. Always lay out your cabinets, then go in with your countertops, then place in any of your fixture like sinks or kitchen sinks inside. With that said, that concludes exercise 12-1. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Follow for more content.